Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Give this video a like. We appreciate it. We got a podcast below in the description. Go subscribe to that as well. We are sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka, John. Yep. American-made Austin, Texas. Tito, number one vodka in America. Go get yourself Tito's. I thought we saw tonight was a guy who has not earned the starting job, but clearly needs to play. And that's where you're in a tough spot. Right? You're not starting him purely as a project because you're trying to win football games. Do you agree? Do you view him as a project when you watch him? I think that has a negative connotation, but it's um, like... Yeah, I mean, I guess there's different projects, right? Pro- there are some projects that project means you cannot play this year. I don't view him that way. Yeah. Like, that- I do think part of the equation here is how good is Garoppolo really going to be and how badly does Trey Lance need game playing experience? Again, he hasn't earned the right to be the week one starter, but I do watch him and I think it's very clear to me that he needs to play games. So what do you do? Like well, I'm not good, as I'm but not he's going to get to play. He's getting thrown into games. Yeah, right well, and ho- hopefully he gets better. I'm just saying I have not, for me personally, just I'm not saying Kyle's going to do this at all. And I think everybody else tonight, it sounds like you're in this camp, is like it's over for Trey Lance's opportunity to start week one. And I agree with that. But I, for me personally, I am not convinced that he shouldn't be playing just because, again, I think what we saw tonight was the result of a guy that needs to be playing because he hasn't played. Well, the, 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 when you deal with a project slash young player slash the guy that's going to be a work in progress. So even if he's not, because I, I do think when you say project, you're right. People think like a guy that just you're working with in practice, see a year or two years later. A, let's just go a major work in progress. It is hard. Would is Kyle? Because here's where the the position battle would not be set. If he's okay with taking a step back to maybe have a couple forward by mid October, because he goes like this guy's only going to improve. Like if he believes that he's going to dramatically improve just as he plays, like as you saw tonight, like first series a lot going on. Now, granted, it's hard to tell like how many you know second stringers getting yanked by third stringers by the end of the half. He starts looking better, and then he comes out with an, he, multiple touchdown drives. But, like, what if that's just, like, maybe he'll just get better as you put him in games in terms of, like, he'll be a little, a lot going on early, and then the more he plays. But if you do this Taysom Hill style where you bring him in, you bring him out, it's hard for a young guy to get a rhythm who is not, like, doesn't have a rhythm to begin with. So it's, right. they're kind of in a tough spot. Like, yeah, yeah, this, you could, you could, I wouldn't say easily justify, but you could justify, we're just going with him and we're going to fucking live with it. And we think we're good enough around him to figure it out. I think you could. Now he's, what, he's way more physically gifted than Jimmy, and Jimmy's fucking erratic, right? That's the other thing. Jimmy is erratic. Here's, here's the thing, John. Jimmy is going to open the door for Trey Lance to play this year, to start a game. The door's open right, the door's open right now, right? Well, yeah. That shows you. Yeah, but, tra- been but open that was the challenge. That you, the Trey Lance hasn't walked through it, right? In games. But but, he, but even tonight, like a big reason to me why I'm sure Jimmy just didn't, it was 15 plays, but think how that drive ended on just a horrendous pass. Like, so to me, Kyle yanked him because he didn't, he played a lot, but he's not thinking like, oh my God, he just sliced him and diced him down the field. Like it ended up with a fucking turnover. It ended the way it ends. We've seen it. We've seen that story before. Now, does that beat the Lions in a way that Trey Lance doesn't? It might. It, it, Week one it would be season. hard, in my opinion, for Jimmy Garoppolo to lose the Lions. Trey would be a losable player just because he could throw four picks in a game. Now, obviously, Jimmy could too, but it's probably more likely that happens against like the Rams, right? He can also just hand the ball off a lot and <laughs> do a few design runs, and right? Yeah. Like I, that was my main takeaway of this game. It's not Trey Lance can't play. It's Trey Lance needs to play, but he hasn't actually earned it. But again. I think we've seen enough of these seasons. I'm not talking about injury here. Garoppolo's – I think Trey Lance is going to start a game this year, at, at, at least for the 49ers. I think Garoppolo's going to oh, allow yeah. for it, right? 100%. You also can throw away, quote-unquote, earned and merit stuff, I do think, when you draft a guy really high. I, I would say it makes most it hard of the time – your I team compl- is also trying to win, though, right? G- Jimmy's situation, you know, he's he's had some success. Because, like, like, Andy tonight. Dalton hasn't been there. No. Well, he has no equity with the guys. I'm not like, even Jimmy sure which guys he needs to have. Who on offense should he have equity with in Chicago? 
Yeah, well, I mean, they Allen Robinson, George maybe. Kittle. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like George Kittle's not on that team, right? Trent Williams. Well, like, t- tonight's a good example on the touchdown drive when he hit Sherfield on the one play. It was an elite play call, right? He schemes it open, and Sherfield's running wide open. Now he hits him, and then he got some rhythm. But that, but that to me is like your best advantage. This is where the preseason, I was talking to a buddy with the Eagles. The Patriots got fucking worked in practice. Belichick ain't a practice guy. I, I mean, obviously he loves to practice, but his huge point of difference is going to be the game, right? When he can ski, like he uses practice as like homework, like what's right, what's wrong, so he can get to the test. And the test is where he gets, you know, 98s out of 100s. Kyle, like the preseason, like he, that, his strongest attribute are play calls and schemes up against the defense. So if you wanted to counter like, well, he hasn't quite earned it, but your coach is an incredible schemer that he can just get him all these easy reads just to get him some confidence that doesn't necessarily happen in these situations where you're just even, you know, whatever the play call is, it's just a play call. It's not necessarily because we think their tendency on this third and seven is to be on this coverage so we can get this one route that's going to be wide open, Trey, get ready for it. That's not really what they're doing here. You're just kind of like, learning by doing which is a good thing but it just is a little backyard football and it's like this for every team relative to how the actual sport is played a huge part of the sport is game plan right all week long you get scenarios you have things to do now eventually you have to make plays on top of that which you can see this guy has some physical attributes to make those plays but you do have to just kind of figure it out how to do that once you're playing but you also get built in just kind of some easy plays when you have games with a great play caller. Yeah, yeah. This video brought to you in part by our friends at DraftKings. Promo code HAM. Download it now. Play the Wild Cards Instant Win Challenge for your share of up to $50 million bucks. And our friends at Manscaped.com. Promo code HAM. 20% off. Free shipping. Manscaped.com. Promo code HAM. And Cam Newton, probably. Everything you just said applies to Cam, too, right? Cam and Bill as a combination. Probably not great practice. Cam's not oh, built for practice. Looks, it looks awful. Um, I, I, you know, a lot of people I saw, saw a lot of indecision, hesitation, uh, which was there. I, I saw a guy actually, and now he took a couple of, I think it was two sacks. I don't have the box score in front of me, but just I think one, the two. right tackle was smoked, you know? The, yeah. That was the later one. I saw a guy that also moves pretty well in the pocket though. Um, so I, I for me, I have not. It's not over for me for the preseason. I'm not saying it's not over for Kyle. It might be. But I don't think it should be over. Maybe that's the better way to put it. I don't think it should be over between these two guys. Because, again, he need, he clearly needs to play. He doesn't look like he's better than Jimmy Garoppolo in terms of a quarterback competition for week one of the NFL season. But Trey Lance needs to play football games. And that's – Well, yeah, to me, if to you're Kyle – later. Are, are you cool with just starting him and living with some of his two or three pick games and just some disasters? Because if That's you are, the, then, then it's a no brainer. Well, John, here's the him. other thing is like, because you're barely getting any reps, it's hard to really know what, what is the worst case scenario with him, right? Is it four picks in a game or is it a yeah, few missed throws, but against a lesser opponent, Jimmy will do that too. And our defense is good enough and we can run the ball and it'll be fine. Yeah, it could be, you know, a strip sack, could be just being yeah, loose. It I, I could think just be overwhelmed sack. by blitzes and just different looks. For and sure, just... but again, this is what Shanahan does offensively. He can help. Yeah, that's you. what I'm saying. So now, if, was to me, if you're cool with chat, living through it, just do it. Someone pointed out in the chat, he's not as fast as RG3, and it's not like exactly like Robert wore, wore that season well as time went on, right? That's the but, thing, guy. He is not a blazer. So you, you, the okay, runs are run not. For 30 yards. Just run for five instead of a sack. That's fine. Yeah, that's all they need him to do. To me, where they need him to be is like an explosive thrower. And I think you saw tonight a couple times made me a little nervous, was like, oh, dude, where's the touch there? And, and it could just be as simple as, I mean, it's his first preseason game on the road. I mean, a lot of emotions looked amped up. He did felt like as the game went on, got a little, got it under control. There were a couple passes you went, whoa, but back to what? It's not like Jimmy doesn't do that, too. It's not like you're playing with fucking Drew Brees. Exactly. I can understand why Saints fans were like, why do we keep bringing Taysom Hill in? We have the, one of the best quarterbacks of all time. That is not the case here, right? That, that is just not the case at all. Jimmy is an inaccurate, mistake-prone, 
kind of a playmaker, but can also not make plays. He made a play so in the pocket, getting out of the pocket today. He looked pretty good. Yeah, I mean, he's he's a solid NFL quarterback. You know, he's he's 15 to 20. So th- think about that. That's how, that, that's how Kyle could act. Like, yeah, I got this guy that I could easily win some games with, and we go back to the playoffs with this guy. I also got a guy that I just drafted with all these picks I traded for who has way more talent and also might make some mistakes, but don't I want to this guy in two years to look back? Like, remember when we played him early at, at benefit? That's my entire take on starting yeah, young guys. I think you're right. So then in 2023, it's like, yeah, that, that stretch in October, man, when it was a struggle, I look back on now, and I, I've been able to build off that. The first time when those nickel blitzes used to really fuck me up, me and Kyle figured it out, and by the third year, we eat those alive. Well, right? Mah- yeah, the Mah- there's always – often people draw the comparison to Mahomes and Alex Smith, but – you know, the difference in the comparison is not – the difference in the comparison is the starter. Like, Alex, fundamentally, less mistakes. Yeah. So that was that was more about Alex. Like, we think we got a really good football team. Let's play it safe here. How safe are you really playing it if Garoppolo is your quarterback? Again, I'm not saying he shouldn't start week one. I'm just saying I wouldn't take what happened against the Chargers for me with Trey Lance to mean Trey Lance can't do it. Because I They're- think he might be able to do it right now, and I also think he needs – to play. He needs to play games. But if we put that situation in a vacuum, it's crazy how it's materialized and Mahomes has gone into this superstardom and the way everything's played out. There was zero pressure on Mahomes like there is in this situation. He got, in a weird way, got to fly under the radar. as yeah. a, like He's probably, wouldn't you say, of all the rookies the last like five, six years that were drafted really high, like top 20, no one had less pressure on him than Mahomes somehow. Because it felt like people yeah, the, the lead into the draft wasn't that high on No, him. the Deshaun was a big debate about Deshaun coming into the draft, right? Dabo Sweeney yeah. said he's going to be great. Um, yeah, you're right. Well, also, when you, I just think also, in, if you look at Mitch that year, when Mitch got drafted number two, not that getting drafted 10 or 12 or, you know, it's not. That's really, really high. When you get drafted one, two, or three, there is just – he was drafted third, but it, I think he's talked about like he was the number one overall pick because of the trade. The two gets that he gets that type of hype, right? Trey. Oh, Trey, just yeah. because of the trade. Yeah, but he was a third quarterback taken. Yeah, you're right. He's just the most intriguing. No, I know just but, because there's a debate. I guess Urban wants us to think there's a Jags debate, but he's the one of the three of them that has to earn it, right? Yeah. So maybe that's part of it. I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. It, well, just the, the tr- when you trade that much for a player, the, the hype on Trey Lance is added by the trade, right? And rightfully so. He was drafted third overall. The team fucking traded all these picks for him. Like, that just care. That's part of the Yeah, and people story. are less conditioned to think Trey Lance is great coming into the draft because they've watched Trevor Lawrence for three years. They watched nothing but sweet highlights for Zach Wilson all year long. Yeah, there is no built-in. That. He has no equity with anybody besides just hype. Yeah. And the hype did get out of control. Maybe. I, again, I, I, I'm i not swinging back and forth. I, I'm i not either. I'm just saying, you, when you hype, but this is, I, and I, again, I, I, I'll but be John, what was the hype? The I'm hype guilty. was he might be able to start right away. And I still think he might be able to start right away. No, the hype is that in practice, when he makes these incredible plays, I, I, I'm part of the hype. Like, I'm not acting like but I'm what, above But it. what I'm saying is, I don't, so what? I saw the plays. He made incredible plays. But this is back, like, were they really incredible or could he have been sacked? Well, he could you know? have been sacked, but they were still incredible. Like, they, it's just, yeah, I have no got problem great with the, physical ability. I am not, I don't think we should be just, like, revisiting the hype here. No, no, but I'm just saying, that, but the hype adds to this craziness where we're at with this guy. Yeah, you're There's right. I'm just saying, don't, don't give up on the hype yet. He's got more hype, but my point is, like, he has way more hype coming into these games than like than Trevor Lawrence and Zach Wilson do at their own camps. Like there's a lot of hype on this guy. Yeah, no, you're right. I'm agreeing with you, but I'm also saying you don't say. I feel like you're saying it like, ah, we should back off it. Okay. Well, because sometimes it's unfair. Like it's these games are fucking hard. It's a hard yeah, sport. It is unfair. I don't think it changes anything for him. Like I, I doubt he's. No, I'm not. I'm not saying to stop it, but he just shows you that like it is just that. It's it's hype. That's it doesn't actual equal that like. He's ready to dominate, or he's not. Like you don't know. I'm not even and sure you that argue any these of it's pre- been unfair. I let's see. No. Well, you could argue these preseason games don't mean fucking dick. I mean, it was really just that simple. The the preseason, one thing we learned tried and true, it doesn't mean anything. Anything. Well, sometimes it means something. 
When, though? I really? mean, Russell Wilson, he won the job. He became a star. Well, yeah, but I mean, he, I, but his, but what does that have to do with like his career, like his preseason? Well, I'm just saying he won the job in the preseason and then he became their starting quarterback. So it, it's, they started right away with Russell because of how he played in preseason games. Yeah. I'm not saying that the preseason doesn't impact like whether you can start. I'm just saying the actual tangible, like what you do in a game doesn't actually like, we, it won't be irrelevant by week four or five. Now, if he had been incredible, maybe he yeah, would have won I, the but job. My point is there like, it's not that everything that happens in the preseason, all of it, we can't figure out what any of it means. Some of it, is doesn't mean anything. Some of it means stuff. We just, it's hard to know what's what because there's so many moving parts who played with who all that stuff. Yeah. I guess my point is good or bad though. It doesn't necessarily, we see try, time and time again that like the regular season doesn't have any parallel to the preseason because there's no yeah. game plan. Yeah. But, but, but I, I do think we just, it's hard for us to know what mattered when we watched the preseason, but I do think there was stuff that is there. Uh, Lab Rat says, can Lance fix his accuracy issue? He doesn't seem to throw a catchable ball. I would say, yeah, I, that's the funny thing about some of these games. Uh, now, games aren't practice, but I've, I, like, I thought one of his greatest strengths after practices that I've watched is how consistently he's accurate. It hasn't looked that way. Things speed up, people are around you, you can get hit, whatever. But I, I still think he's going to be an accurate quarterback. Yeah, that, that, see, that is to me where I just saw a couple things, and I, I just don't know if it's like his first couple game action. It's a little overwhelming. It's like, whoa. Yeah. Just some of the touch stuff that. that, that I, I guess my overall take there's a lot more unknown when you see games than you realize that in practice. Games are a different animal for, for younger players. Because he, he made a couple throws tonight, like the Kaepernick comparison is just. It was like, where is the? You, why are you throwing a hundred mile an hour fastball there? It was, it was bad. Like it, it just. But that's part of the maturation of a project, right? It's the, when I say a project, like in two, three years, can he get away from not doing it? Like Kaepernick never could. Kaepernick was one of the most physically gifted projects in the history of the league. His problem is like there was no pro. He just stayed. He could never improve. Right. You know, and that's the unknown with a young talent. It's like, can he really improve? And usually, the only way to improve is. You just eventually have to do it, right? He's going to get opportunities to do it. Can he just do it? But it's early on. There could be like some head-scratching plays from a young fella. Yeah. No, you're right. 